What's up everybody? My name is Chance and today we're just going to be running it back to the Elvish Vanifar deck. I actually had a whole lot of fun and I had some suggestions that actually made <clears throat> made this deck a whole lot better. So I added in two copies of Zagana and well, oh there he is. One copy of Trollbred Guardian to um, help us offset whenever we can't you know, get our attackers through. We can still give them trample and uh, still deal damage to our opponent. So, so far as from what I've seen, they've been really good additions to the deck. Now we can get Trollbred um, off of a Mystic, which is excellent, and we can get Zagana off of um, Elvish Rejuvenator, or maybe a Still Leaf, or maybe a Beast Whisperer towards the end of the game where we've sort of got too many, or maybe a District God. So plenty of ways to get them, but uh, yeah, you guys know the deck. Um, if you don't, go back and watch the video from yesterday. Um, we had a pretty crazy game three in that video, so. Yeah, we're going to hop right into the games here. Alright, and here we are in game one up against Trago. So we'll see how it goes. And I'll probably just end up taking the first three games for this. I am on a, a bit of a time schedule here. Um, I know you guys are probably pretty used to hearing me say that, but uh seems like I always have something going on. I've been off for the past two days, but I still, still got to be uh, on a time schedule because we're trying to get into a new house, so... Got to go and see and talk to the people about that and, uh, you know, do all that fun stuff. So, uh, I think we go Beast Whisperer into Prime Speaker here. Bishop, Soldier. Uh, we don't have anything we can play this turn anyway, so we might as well go ahead and get the Guild Gate down. Uh, he could, he already has enough for a Conclave, so we'll have to hope he doesn't have it for the Beast Whisperer. Yeah, we'll go Beast Whisperer, Prom Speaker. You know, we can actually go Helm of the Host. Do we want to go Helm of the Host, Beast Whisperer, Equip Helm? That could be pretty good, right? Same thing if we go Prom, or if we go Helm, Prom Speaker, Equip Helm onto Prom Speaker, because then we get a Hasted Unit. We get the Hasted Unit, we sacrifice it for a 5 mana drop. I don't know. Either way, I like the idea of playing Helm of the Host out right now. So that's that's exactly what we're going to do. By the way, you'll notice that my lands aren't on auto tap anymore. I feel like I've been been too lazy to really turn it off before, but it's finally fucked me enough to where I decided to just turn it off. And I'll just tap all my lands as I need to for each turn. Two Bishop Soldiers. Let's see. Mono White. Lifelink deck? I don't know. He could be going uh, mono white aggro with some Johnnies in there. Maybe he just hasn't drawn to the Johnnies yet. Um. <laughs> we go Beast Whisperer Helm or Prom Speaker Helm. Or maybe neither. Maybe we go Beast Whisperer Prom Speaker then Helm. I just feel like Prom Speaker into Helm is. It's one funny, but it's also kind of cool. What what's our six drops in this? Um, Trollbred. Five drop. We got biogenic ooze, so we could sacrifice our second prime speaker for an ooze. That's pretty cool, right? Hmm. Hmm. And turn after that, we get another ooze down. And since our creatures are going to be coming in with Vanifar, Beast Whisperer doesn't work too great. Although the card draw would be really nice, right? We'll see what we top deck. If we top deck something good, we'll just go with the Vanifar. If we top deck something shitty, we'll go with the Beast Whisperer. Unless our opponent just is done playing the game. Sky Rider Patrol. Well, it's not great, but it is something that's, you know... Not another land, so I'll go with Vanifar play. It's the one I was leaning towards anyways, and if it doesn't get to go off, you know, whatever. So so be it. Can't counter it. What could he have? Maybe a seal away? That would be annoying, right? Because we have to tap Vanifar. Invoke the Divine. Oh, he just took my Helm of the Host. Now I'm sad. So Beast Whisperer probably was the right play there, but, you know. What do you have? Conclave? Conclave Tribunal? I 
some way to buff your units. If he swings in with both, I'm not defending. Okay, no. Nothing. Okay. So we only have two mana left after Frilled Mystic. However, I almost think that we have to just wait for him to play something, <clears throat> counter it with Frilled Mystic, and then we'll be able to sacrifice Frilled Mystic. Or we could go Beast Whisperer if we don't think that he has anything on this next turn. And basically the same waiting game. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go for the Beast Whisperer. We can't just play like pussies all game. I mean, we could. We have two Frilled Mystics in hand and plenty of mana to cast it out. But <clears throat> I don't want to play like a pussy all game, so... And we're not going to tap Vanifar until we have Frilled Mystic mana. Actually, we're not going to tap Vanifar on a Beast Whisperer anyways. We're in a tricky situation here. He's playing Selesnya, but he really is lacking in green mana right now. So that's kind of a nice sight, right? History of Benalia coming down. That actually would have been a really nice Frilled Mystic, right? Awkward. I mean, we can still flash in Frilled Mystic to defend against the the Benalia Knights, but that's not pretty either, huh? Another land means we're one away from being able to play, you know, something plus a Frilled Mystic. Uh, I'll just wait on this turn. We could play the Sky Rider and get in some more card draw, but let's see what he plays after the history. If it's a second history, then I'll be super happy that I keep the Frilled Mystic. Of course, if you drew two histories back to back, like, ugh. But Johnny's proud of me. I am going to go ahead and Frilled that. I don't currently have anything on the board that's building up. I got another copy of Frilled Mystic in hand. Um, Vanquisher's Banner. That's interesting. Gives us some more card draw. Alright, bye bye, Johnny's not even making it to the field this game. Watch him have another copy of History Benalia still. No? Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm gonna feel really bad if he does. So knights are gonna get a little bit beefy next turn, so I am contemplating throwing down a Vanquisher's banner. Just because it means our Vanifar can then block one of the knights outright. Um, okay, so we could play an Incubation Druid. Kill off the Frilled Mystic. Still have enough mana for another Frilled Mystic in case they do try to seal away our Vanifar. And get an Ooze out. That sounds like a pretty dope plan, actually. We can take whatever damage he wants to throw at us. And we get the card draw from Beast Whisperer, so... Yeah. Cool, cool. Land of War. I'm actually pretty happy to see that. Um, and you know what? We can go ahead and throw it down this turn for a little bit more card draw. We still have enough for Frilled, uh, Frilled Mystic afterwards. So, why not? Doo -doo -doo. Steel Leaf is a nice pickup. Now we're, we're starting to get somewhere. So let's tap our Vanifar and sacrifice our Frilled Mystic and get out an Ooze. Um, yeah, we definitely want an Ooze before the Trollbred, right? Trollbred's like, okay, by himself. I mean, he can adapt to be a 7-7 seven, seven with Trample. Not bad at all. But... <clears throat> He's much better if you have like two biogenic oozes out already, so then you have, you know, fair amount of creatures that are fairly built up with trample on them. Go ahead, go for the seal away. I know you want to. No? No seal away. That's surprising, actually. There's the seal away. And there's my answer to your seal away. 
another one. Oh, feels bad. Feels bad for him. Feels great for me. So with this frilled mystic out on the board, we're gonna tap him and sacrifice. Or I mean, we're gonna tap the Phantom Farm, sorry, and sacrifice the frilled mystic and get out another biogenic ooze. And then on our third one, we'll get out the troll bread. So this game's going pretty well. The only sweeper Monowatt has that I'm afraid of is Cleansing Nova, right? Because that just straight up kills all of our shit. That'd be really annoying. I mean, it kills all of his stuff too, but like, ugh. <laughs> Then we're just starting over. Okay, the swing in with the knights. And bishop soldier, that one doesn't really make sense. Neither one of those makes sense. So I'll 100% do that. Take the eight, I'm down to 10. You know what, I can probably give up the land of war too. Just jump block with the land of war. We got some card draw out of it, so. Oh, sure, sure. That works. Picks out my oozes, keeps his creatures. That was a very nice play. Toss out a nice to him. So he knows I liked it. <sighs> now, we can't play Vanquishers and Frilled Mystic, which means keeping Vanifar alive. Well, he's down to one card, so it shouldn't be too hard, actually. So let's go ahead and do it. All right? One, two, three. Or we can tap incubation actually and keep up enough for frilled, so that's kind of exciting. So um, we could put it on ooze, but I I still like it better on elf. All right, bye bye frilled mystic. Hello, biogenic ooze. Um, you know what? Like I said, him having that. Other copy of Seal Away, sure, if he has it, great. Great for him. Whoops. I'm sorry. That was supposed to be a green mana. If he has it, great for him. Um, we're already pretty much to a pretty stacked board state. Decline that, because I'm not going to pay the two, because I don't have the two to pay. Um, and no attacks. We still have some defenders up. Um, still have another Frilled Mystic in hand, which we'll probably save for next turn. Let's see, did he top deck anything good? No, probably just the land. Yeah, okay, so he's running on fumes now. So now I'm looking pretty good. Um, We can go into another Beast Whisperer, or we can just go go heavy aggro with the Steel Lease. I'm sure, let's go ahead and tap Incubation. Draw two cards, thanks to Vanquishers and Beast Whisperer. If we get down our second copy of Beast Whisperer, we're drawing three cards for every elf we play, which is kind of crazy. Oh, <laughs> I mean, we could sacrifice Steel Leaf and get a, another Beast Whisper out as well. So many options, so many options. Let's just go District God, right? There's two more card draw. Ooh, a Zagana is nice, actually. Sure. Oh, wait a minute. No, we didn't want to do that. Oh, well. We're just going to end up discarding it. No, that's seven. Okay, so that's fine. Um, I just want to keep it as is, or do, let's go ahead and get down to Zagana. You guys think? Oozes benefit from it. Oh, that's a little risky. Beast Whisperer, we draw two cards, we gotta discard one. So leave. Tell you what, let's just keep it. Let's keep it as is. Do I wanna pay? I wanna pay and give someone uh, plus one, plus one, counter, plus flying. Nah. Alrighty, that'll be it. Um, sure, Skyrider can go ahead and swing in. Start taking them off for some damage. Now, this. This video may only end up being two games since this game's going pretty long, and I'm gonna go ahead and safely assume the next game's gonna be pretty long as well. Vanfar getting pretty big herself. Pretty happy about that. Settle could hurt us, but like, as long as we play around it with our attackers, we're perfectly fine, so not too worried about that. 
My turn means I'll go ahead and pump out an ooze. This is the great thing about having ooze and Field Mystic, um, one in your hand, you know, and the other on the field, is if they don't throw anything down for you to Field Mystic, you can just pay enough for the ooze, right? Get another oozling down. Sure, sure. Um, we could just go for a big crisis if we wanted to, right? Heal up a little bit. I don't know, at this point it's really like, you know, what am I doing besides just building my board out anyways? Playing with my food, I guess, waiting for him to concede. Or draw out that Cleansing Nova. <laughs> Although, honestly, if he draws out a Cleansing Nova, what, he wipes the board? I have enough cards to replenish. He has nothing. He's top decking for the rest of the game. There's another Vanifar. That's kind of nice to see. We have two Frilled Mystics. Vanifar. Probably discard the Beast Whisperer, right? We don't really need it. Um, although another Skyrider could make it really easy for us to win as well. So yeah, let's just go with Skyrider. Because again, it makes it super easy for us to win. And I'm not too worried about the Frilled Mystics at this point. Like I said, he clears it, I have a full hand, he has nothing, we're still fine. Um, okay, so we can sacrifice still this turn, I don't think we really want to. <clears throat> Let's tap her, tap our Simic Guildgate, who do... Who are we sending up? <clears throat> How about Vanifar, right? So make her a 7-9. That's a lot of damage. Can't pay for the second one. So let's just swing in with Vanifar. That still Leaf. Sure, that looks like a heavy attack. What do you got for me? A Settle? Even a Settle isn't too bad at this point. I just gotta be careful I don't deck myself. I could very well mill straight to zero with Beast Whisperer plus Vanquishers out. That's the only the only scary thing with this deck. You're sort of racing against yourself. What are you waiting to resolve? Settle. Okay, well you could have like went ahead and did that, you know. Take action. Do we want to? Not really. I'd rather keep the cards in there for the card draw. So there goes the land. We don't really need the Vanifar anyways at this point. I feel like we uh, we can win without it. So what, did, what do we go here? Go Hydroid Crisis. We can also uh, adapt to Zagana if we wanted to. That's an option. Get another Steel Leaf down. It's not bad. Let's get us some more card draw. Maybe we just go for the big crisis. Two, there's what, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sure. This is always kind of annoying whenever you get to cast out a big crisis, but let's be real. You well, never mind. I could have just tapped Incubation with Auto Tap, huh? Clon. Hey, there's a Morrowin. I mean, at this point, let's just build them. Let me have my fun. Discard five cards, okay. <laughs> oh, bye bye, Hinterland. Get rid of the cow. We're probably not too useful at this point. Um, let's be real, I don't need any more Beast Whispers. Don't need the District God. Probably could have got rid of Morrowin too, you know, if you just want to take some guards. I got some to offer. Uh, again, gotta be careful about decking myself, but uh. I think we'll be all right. Cause like worst comes to worst, I just start pumping mana into Bajinkus, uh, Zagana, Incubation Druid, things like that, and uh, 
don't really worry about drawing any more cards. But in this instant, I am going to play down another Biogenic Ooze. Boom, 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 boom. Sure, we'll get the card draw, but that's fine. Um, maybe we just keep Road Mystic for a counter, just in case we like. You guys know I like to play cocky, so. We can still cast down a Frilled Mystic if we throw down a Steel Leaf. How much does she cost to adapt? Five. All right, yeah. Alright, fuck it. Let's go Steel Leaf. Um, one, two, buckle my shoe. Vanquishers. Sure, we're drawing more cards. <laughs> Another Hydroid. Probably don't want to play that, right? It's good enough. Pay the two. Nah. Decline. Next. Alright, let's swing in with our two flyers because they can't be blocked anyways. And if I wanted to, I could guess I could push in with some other people, but let's just keep them back for defenders, right? This should send a clear enough message like, hey, you got about one turn. <laughs> Uh, there goes a forest. We still have 15 cards in our deck, so again, I'm not too worried. Is that going to be the scoop? No, he's swinging in. Not really what you want to do, but sure. Alrighty, he's going for it. 8-8, Doesn't really matter here, no matter what he tries to pass off. Yeah, okay. He's just trying to get some life back. Sure, sure. Resolve all. That is a nice little feature they added. Alright, let's just kill him on this next turn. Enough enough playing with my food. My turn? Sure. Let's uh let's create another oops. Another little ooze creature token. Throw that down. Um sure we can adapt. There we go. 8-8 eight, eight out on the board. Um, troll bread. Nah. Pay. Nah, we'll be one short. Alright, I guess we'll just leave our board state like this. It's fine. We can pay for this, though. Who who are we sending up into the sky? You know what? Let's, let's send Still Leaf up, right? Sounds cool. Boom, 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 boom. Good. Good. I don't really mind what he wants to block out here. If he wants to kill my biogenic ooze and all that, that's fine. Something tells me we have enough damage. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, something tells me we can, we can finish him off there. Alrighty, so game one being picked up, um, you know... In that uh, that Vanifar Elf style, pretty pretty easily, and I won't say quickly because that definitely wasn't quick. Nonetheless, we're gonna hop on into a game two here. All right, and here we are in game two up against Draco Draco. Whatever. Ooh. <laughs> come on, come on! You could have just given me one force. I would have been happy with it. Our opponent goes first. Fuck it. We gotta we gotta try for it. We get the we get the draw. Ooh, Land of War. Oh, Hinterland. Nice. Okay, so it's still a bit slow. Um that's okay. That is a okay. 
Zorius. Zorius and he's playing a Leona Vanguard. That's interesting. Um, pay. So we can go Beast Whisperer into Morrowind. I think that's a little bit better to get us rolling with the card draw. Mentor of the Meek. Sure, sure. Swing in with the Vanguard. No? What? Why would you not? He should pretty much know I'm not going to... Well, now. That is interesting. Um, So scratch what I said about Beast Whisperer, Morrowind, all that good stuff. We're going to go Helm of the Host on Morrowind, hopefully. That's that's the idea. Let me check my phone real quick. Make sure my girlfriend isn't telling me she's getting off early. Sometimes that is the case. Okay. Nope. She was just giving me errands to run. Sounds okay. <laughs> Sounds fun. Alrighty. Calvary Drill Master. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> this is gonna hurt a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of bit. Yeah. Six damage straight to the face. Um, Our play may have been too slow. You guys think so? Oh well. Let's let's play the Morrowind and then we'll play the Incubation Druid and then next turn we'll play the Helm of the Host on to the Morrowind um, for some cool cool stuff hopefully hopefully ideally in in the best scenario that's what's gonna happen he has four mana four mana and Azorius what kind of removal like actual removal do you have there I mean you have the the exiles the conclave the Ixlon, the Hieromancers and you go resplendent that's still scary because Resplendent can go over our head and we only have 13 health left, so that's not good. Um, and again, he can swing it this turn. He should swing in this turn. Yeah, there it is. Um, fuck, I can't afford 6 damage to my face. What do I do? What do I do? Sacrifice the Incubation? So they can four. Yeah. Fuck it. We gotta stay alive somehow. Crisis would be lovely. I would love to see a crisis right about now. Um uh, what do we do here? Let's for sure go ahead and throw the helm. I'm gonna make this Morrowind a 3 3. Give us a 1 1 Morrowind. Um, and we could throw down District Guide to make the 1 1 a 2 2 if we wanted to. Still keep the Land of War back to block. No attacks. We could throw down a Beast Whisperer, making District Guide better next turn. Sure. I like that better. Makes that Morrowind stronger. Makes our original Morrowind a little bit stronger. Um, fuck, he's at five mana. He can pump Resplendent if he has another land in hand, which I'm guessing out of four cards, yeah. Oh, it's tapped. Lovely. Okay, but next turn he can pump the Resplendent, which is also scary because that's lethal. So we're looking, looking pretty, pretty shitty right now. Just swing in again with everybody. I mean, even if you lose the mentor, you're dealing damage. Dealing at least seven, right? Well, five. Still, you know, he's got this game in in two turns. Oh, that's what I like to see. Just one attacker. See the way. Oh, ah, that sucks. We've been playing on the ropes pretty much this whole game. Zagana is not going to do it, actually. I needed something like a Skyrider or something I could actually hold him off with. That's going to be GG. Okay, so game one took incredibly long. Game two took uh, no time at all. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Um, Mono White, 
I don't I'm not quite sure what that was just mono white aggro ish oh no it wasn't mono white it was Azorius what Azorius cards did he play nonetheless if you guys enjoyed the video um, I know today you know, like I didn't do any groundbreaking deck building or uh, or trying out anything too interesting I just sort of you know went back and played another deck that I enjoyed but I said that I'd start doing it more because I do have a lot of decks where I'm like you know what I you know I'd like to play that two days in a row so been trying to be a little bit easier on myself about the whole content creator um, aspect of things and not not rushing myself to get out just new stuff for you guys so hope you guys have been enjoying it. if you have leave a like down below comment saying any suggestions with you know this deck future decks past decks um, all that good shenanigans I will be trying to get another tribal video out tonight as you guys again have been responding absolutely cr like crazily good I don't know what word I'm trying to go for there what a uh, combination but <clears throat> nonetheless the hype's been awesome so I do appreciate that um, of course if you're new to the channel consider subscribing it's free it does help out the channel helps the community grow currently looking to get to a thousand we're about a uh, what 450 right now 454 something like that nonetheless um, so yeah and of course as always I'll see you guys tonight peace